Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be building the best Dragapult for our raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's start off with the location. So it is a Violet only exclusive, so if you're on Scarlet you will have to trade for it. But if you're on Violet you can go over to Zero Gate. Once you're over here you just want to go inside. Once you're inside, click on the teleportation pad and you want to go to research station number 3. And then you want to head outside and there'll be a big dark cave in front of you. Just go inside there, what's the worst that can happen? And once you get to the concrete like area around here, he will start to spawn you just want to keep an eye out for him and then you just want to make your way down the cave slowly don't skip any of it there's no point you'll run into one pretty soon so there's some that have spawned near the wall over there we're going to run into them so it's a dreep here so we'll just need to level it up once to evolve it into dracloak and then level it up again to evolve it into dragapult you can evolve dracloak into dragapult at level 60 so you just want to go ahead and catch that and then evolve it into your dragapult when you catch your dreep or dracloak you're going to want to make sure it's a dragon type terror because that's the one we're going to be using and the item we're going to be using is the choice band now i think this is the first time we're actually using the choice band we don't normally like using these items but for dragapult it seems like a really good item to use if you don't know where to get this you want to head over to metagoza west once you're here i just want you to follow me real quick we're going to go through this archway right here straight forward when you get to this pokeball make a hard right and then we're going to keep going forward till we get to some stairs head to the bottom of them stairs and then turn left and keep going until you find a deli bird shop which is right here once you get inside, I want you to click battle items, scroll down until you see the free choice items and you want to buy the choice band. Now what this does is it increases your attack by 50% like the life orb, but instead of it costing life, it only lets you use one attack all raid so you're going to want to buy one of those the reason we don't like normally using these items is because if someone uses uh let's say they have cursed body or they use disable it's going to put us into a struggle now after you get out of that shop i want you to come back to where you came from so we're going to go over here and go back up the stairs when you get to the top of the stairs i want you to keep going forward and when you get to around here i want you to turn right there's a shop right here the chansey supply shop go inside there once you're inside here if you don't have one already or if your dragapult isn't an adamant nature i want you to buy an adamant mint for 20,000. This will give us boosted attack and this will take some of our special attack away. This is a physical attacking build. Our EVs are going to go into HP and attack and you want to make sure you have perfect IVs on everything except special attack. If you don't know how to get perfect IVs it will cost you bottle cap and you get bottle caps from any deli bird shop. All you want to do is click on general goods and you can buy them for 20,000 each. So for a full Pokemon it will cost you 100,000 if you leave out the special attack or the attack. Now once you've got your five bottle caps, what you want to do is you want to fly over to Montenevra, which is right here. Once you're here, you just want to go straight forward. You'll see a person with an Obama Snow. You just want to speak to him. He'll hyper train your Pokemon. You just want to click on your Dragapult and then click bottle caps. And then you want to click HP, attack, defense, special defense, and speed. Once you've done that, we're going to go over the moves. We're going to be using Dragon Darts, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, and will o -Wisp. Dragon Darts is actually the only move we'll be using. It does 100 damage because it hits twice it'll be our main damaging move you won't really need another move with the setup but if you don't want to use the choice item and you want to go with something like metronome or life orb then your other three moves will be dragon dance which raises our speed and attack by one stage every time you use it dragon claw which is another strong move this is just in case you get disabled or anything like that but if you are using metronome or life orb you will use dragon dance twice and then you will use dragon darts and if they're a physical attacker we will start off with a will-o-wisp this will make their attack go down considerably i'll show you where to get all of these right now so dragon darts and dragon dance we learn from level up you don't need to worry about those two however dragon claw and will-o-wisp we will need tms to get if you don't know where to get tms just come to a pokemon center it's the green section you just want to speak to that it is the tm machine so tm 78 dragon claw you will need 8000 lp five axu scales three noibat fur and three gibble scales show you where to get those right now so axu scales you're going to want to fly over to dali zappa passage and then you want to climb this cliff which is right next to the pokemon center until you get to the top make sure you climb on the right side or else you won't be able to get up now when you get to the top you'll run into some gibbles and fractures we just have to look around a little bit so we have found an axu right there you just want to take that out once you've took it out you will get your axu scales you will get more from the fractures i hate snow in this game once you've got your axu scales you want to head over to north province area one we actually do have a mass outbreak right now for noibat but we're not going to go to that you can actually find axus in this location as well we're having a little bit of trouble so we're just going to activate a sandwich real quick i would actually recommend
recommend making a dragon sandwich before you actually start getting these materials because all three Pokemon are dragons. And if luck's not on your side, they can be a bit awkward to find. So as soon as we activate the sandwich, a Noibat appears. I'm going to show you where we are on the map. We are right around here. So all I did when I went to North Province Area 1, I went along this path. And when we got to the end of the path, we didn't find one, so we activated a sandwich. So you just want to take out that Noibat and then you can get your Noibat fur. Next up is our Gibble Scales. So you want to come over to Alpha Nada. Once you're here, I want you to head in this direction to the cave. Once you get inside, it should say Alpha Nada Cavern. We're just going to go through here until we find either a Gibble or a Goodbye or both. We're just going to go down slowly. You don't want to jump off because uh, the more Pokemon spawn on the way down. There they are. So you just want to take them out and you can get your Gibble Scales. Moving on to TM 107 Will-O-Wisp, we will need 3000 LP, 3 Solandic Gas and 3 Shoe Pit Scraps. So let's get those right now. So it is daytime right now. So I'm going to skip to nighttime. It'll make Shoe Pit a lot easier to find. If you want to know how to do this, you just want to go forward like 15 minutes and then you just want to fully close your game and then you want to load it back up. Okay, so as you can see, it is nighttime now. We're going to start with the Salandit. So if you're still in Alpha Nada from the Pokemon Center, we're going to be going back to that cave that we was just in and we're going to make our way down, jump off the side right here. And when you jump off, uh, just walk around a little bit, you should find them. And then we're going to take them out and we should get our Salandit gas. Once you have your gas, you want to put a waypoint right here next to Lavincia and then fly over to Lavincia North. Once you get to the Pokemon Center, we're just going to follow this path right here. And then we're going to cut across here and follow the path till we get to the lighthouse. Okay, we're at the lighthouse. It is nighttime. Just go around the lighthouse till you find one. There it is. So we're going to take out the shoe pit and then we get our shoe pit scraps. Now that we've gone over the build, let's get into some raids. I did forget to mention that the ability we're going to be using is clear body. This will prevent other Pokemon from lowering our attack while we're attacking. So our first raid is a Rangaroo. It's a dragon type five star. This Pokemon annoyed me last time I ran into it. It just kept putting us to sleep over and over and over again. But let's see how it goes. So there's not much to this. We just start off with Dragon Darts and use it all raid. So we're going to use Dragon Darts right now. As you can see, it does a decent amount of damage. Considering we're not buffed or anything, it will do a lot more damage once we're terrestrialized. And there's no, like, because there's no setting up or anything like that, we're doing a lot of damage and, like, we're not really at risk of dying before we get to our maximum attack or anything like that. There he goes, using Yawn. Okay, so his shield goes up because he's at about half health. We will be able to get our third attack away before we go to sleep, though, which means we can terrestrialize when we get back. Because the shield's up, we're not doing much now using yawn while we're already drowsy that's just why i don't like our anger he, he lives just to try and annoy me so we do heal so that we wake up and we can terrestrialize but he uses yawn there we go i was asleep before i like healed and he uses yawn anyway this guy he uses calm mind but we're gonna terrestrialize now and use dragon darts this should do a lot of damage because of the stab the terrestrialize and the 50 percent increase from our item and we don't have to worry about him nullifying our stats halfway through the raid with this one as well let's see how much damage this does it does a lot of damage Will it break the shield? Probably not. Yeah, it just fell short. He uses Calm Mind again. He uses Psychic. It does quite a lot of damage. We're going to have to cheer because we are asleep. Hopefully the Sylveon and Weavile break that shield. There's only a tiny bit left. They do manage to break the shield. Only just. He uses Stored Power. It does not that much. There's the shield breaking. And now we can finish him off. There's the Dragon Darts. And that's one attack. And this is the second one. And he goes down. And we got a crit to rub it in. Well, that's the first raid down. Time to move on to the second one. Oh my god. I, I swear, the back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back shinies while recording, it's, it's becoming a thing. I didn't save. Oh, well, I haven't got this one yet. A quick ball should do. If not, and I've just ran into this thing and it's got a move that kills itself, I'm going to be devastated. No. <clears throat> oh, critical capture. There we go. Honestly, I am loving these shiny Pokemon. Got the nice uh, goldeny green color to match his uh, bug typing. Lovely. We have found our second raid. It's a five-star dragon type of camera up. Let's begin. Is camera up quite bulky defensively? We'll find out. So we're going to use Dragon Darts for this turn. It doesn't look like he is. <clears throat> does a lot of damage, actually. Orangaroo is just really bulky, it seems like. He nullifies all our stats already. And then uses Yawn. Another guy with Yawn, eh? If it weren't for that shiny, I would have quit the game as soon as it used Yawn. I have not saved since. So we use Dragon Darts, and it does, like, a lot of damage. He's on less than half of his health now. The shield goes up. He steals some of our Terra Charge. Not good. Removes negative effects from himself. Look at the little tails coming out the back of Dragapult at the top. Can you see him? Out of his ears. Right. So we're going to heal up and wake up the peoples. He uses earth power on us. He doesn't get the d special defense drop, which is good. Now we're going to use dragon darts. See how much damage it does with the shield up. Not too much, but uh, we're just working towards that terror at the minute. He uses eruption. 
action, but it's not very effective. So we go with another Dragon Darts. This will get us our Terrestrial Eyes. He uses Eruption again, but it doesn't do that much damage. We're a pretty good match for this uh, camera. So we're going to Terrestrial Eyes now so we can break the shield. Look at them hands. They're amazing. The, the beady look he gives you as well if you look closely at his face. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. It didn't just break the shield. It uh, pretty much finished the raid and the camera goes down. Let's move on to the third raid. Guys, I didn't think we would win this raid, so I wasn't actually recording. It's a six star raid and it's a talent flame. We're not even super effective against it, but we still managed to beat it. The things you see, I just thought I'd uh, capture the end of the actual raid to show you how good this Dragapult is. There it is, the six stariness of the raid. Oh, and some Mystica. Onto the third raid. Looks like our third raid is going to be Annihilate. The one who most people hate playing in raids. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully there's no one on our team that has Intimidate. Staraptor has Intimidate, that's not good. Does it have Defiant though? It doesn't, oh, it's gonna be easy. Maybe not easy, but you know, a lot easier than it normally would be. So we start off with a, a Dragon Darts. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage actually. Now, oh, it's critical hit. That's why it did so much. So I wonder if it's move, is it a Shadow shadow Fist, something like that? I don't know, I forgot what it's called. I wonder if both hits of my, um, what do you call it, Dragon Darts, powers it up by 50, or if, these, or if the two hits just count as one. Rage Fist, that's what it's called. So we got our three hits away, its shield goes up. This is our third hit right now. So I think we'll be able to do this easy enough because it doesn't have Defiant. It, oh, it has Outrage. This will probably kill us. It doesn't kill us. Right, we're not actually going to terrestrialize till we come back. I think that'll be a bit silly. This guy actually counters us pretty hard. Like, I know we counter him as well, but he counters us just as well. So it could have been a hard fight if he had Defiant. There's the other Outrage. This should knock us out, but then he should go into Confusion. Nope, he's not confused, I don't think. Unless he was already confused. Okay, we are back. He must have stolen one of our Terra Charges because we cannot terrestrialize right now. We hit him with a Dragon Darts. It does nothing. He's hit us with an Outrage. Please don't do over half. Okay, that's good. He's now confused. I beg, just hurt yourself in confusion. Oh, he's moving already. What's he doing? Hurting himself in confusion. That's what he's doing. <laughs> right, so now we can terrestrialize into a Dragon type. Hopefully he thinks we're still a Ghost type and just uses like Shadow Claw or something. So this needs to break the shield. So we are terrestrialized. Let's see how much damage we are doing. So we hit him once and we hit him twice. That should break the shield. It does. There's his shield gone. He's used bulk up. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Will we still be able to kill here? He does use Shadow Claw and he doesn't get a crit. That's amazing. Now we can use Dragon Darts. I want to see whether this kills or not because if it doesn't kill, I think we lose. It did kill. Okay, great. And that's the Annihilate down. If it did have Defiant, we was not winning that. There was no way. Annihilate really is a pain. A pain that doesn't give out Mystica. If you want to see a really cool Berserker build that does a ton of damage, then click on screen right now and I'll catch you on the next one.